Hello everybody. This is going to be video two on controlling a plasma bulb with a Spooky. And you have a visual of the settings that the Spooky was uh, set up in in video one. Um, and I have it now running this evening because I wanted to run this in the dark or when it was darker so we could see the Spooky uh, controlling the plasma ball a little bit better. All right, the first thing I want to do is show you how I'm only running it now on channel one. I'm not doing any gating. Um, just, uh, and you can see that spooky channel two is off. So that plasma ball right now is connected to only channel one uh, or being controlled only by channel one. I want to change some parameters and I want to do this real time. So let's change the duty cycle because the duty cycle is very important because if you have the wrong duty cycle or too much of a duty cycle there's a transistor in there that gets very hot and it's been thermal protected and a switch will shut things down so I'm going to change the duty cycle to 10 percent and I have to go to channel 1 and I just gave focus to channel 1 and by hitting F2 and now you'll see um, when I did that you see I got these options I'm going to go to frequency and you'll see now I have a, a green cursor on the number 30 in frequency what I really would like to do is get down there and drop that duty cycle down to 10 percent so I have to actually step down I'm using the next button that's the F5 button you can probably see my finger right in, the, in there and I'm pressing the next button next button next button and I am now down in the duty cycle range you can see I have the 5 highlighted and the 25 percent and I'm going to turn that down to 10 percent turning 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 and I am now at 16 there we go 10 percent all right camera trying to do a little out of focus there on us and you can you can see how the range of the plasma ball in the background has snuffed out a little bit please believe you have one heck of a um, plasma field still being generated I cannot turn on my tri-field meter uh, within a couple of feet or it'll just peg and it's too dark for me to put the tri-field meter in this video anyway but I wanted to show you that how I can run that plasma ball at 10% very nicely and now I'm going to go back up to frequency and I'm going to use the next button and step around to that's phase I'm in I just highlighted the um, wave and I'm back into frequency and I'm going to start dropping the frequency down uh, the camera just loves all these changes oops going down going the wrong way and isn't that amazing the plasma ball seems to be a little more energetic with actually a lower duty cycle and I'm gonna to have to put my hand in the way to see if I can get this thing to refocus come on refocus too much light back it up a little bit all right let's turn on the lights momentarily I just, oh, oops, let's refocus. There we go. Oops, let's see. Oh, we got it. We got the camera refocused. It's searching. <laughs> I think this is funny. All right. And I'm dropping the duty cycle even further, 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 further. And you can see that there's a dramatic change between 15 going down, 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 down to 1 and you can still see that plasma in the background if it was bright out you would be having a hard time to see that plasma but it is there and don't be deceived that plasma is uh, still giving off one heck of an electric field I don't drop it down much more than a 1000 if I want to run lower frequencies I use uh, more often I, I use my um, channel 2 and do gating but I installed a fan on this particular uh, plasma ball and it has afforded me the opportunity to drop down running a 10% duty cycle to very low levels. Let's do that.
oops, not completely off. Let's go down to, I have to move the position of that cursor. Let's go down to 900, 800, 700, 600, 500. Ah, now it's starting to get a little bit uh, hard to see that plasma. Watch this when I drop down the duty cycle even more. Okay, I'm going to switch to the duty cycle. I'm highlighting the duty cycle now. You can see the 10 is highlighted. I'm going to drop that down. And you can see I'm running all the way down to 2% and that plasma ball is still running in the background. Um, I was hoping to see a little bit more energy. Um, okay, the point that I'm trying to make here is that if you keep your duty cycle low enough, you, you should be able to run at much lower frequencies than I had originally stated. Oops, we have something in the way here. Uh, we're doing good. That's a power cord. And we lost focus again. Right, I'm going to turn the light on just so I can get this camera to sync again. And it did. It turned around and refocused. And while I have the light on, I'm going to go back to 30,000 on the frequency. And to do that, so I'm going to do the step around. And I'm going to go and turn this up. Four. And you can see me turning it up quite significantly, rather fast. And I could. Walking, walking higher and higher and higher. And I'm running at a 5% duty cycle, and look, you can still see the plasma ball in the light in the background. But I'm going to go all the way up to 30. Oops, and we lost it again. Come on, do a little focus. And I'm going to continue dialing, and then I'll get this camera back and refocus. I'm at 30 right now. Uh, 32, 30, there we go. I'm at 30 right now. And see if I can get that camera to focus again. Come on, focus. Wouldn't you know, it's not going to focus very easily. Alright, let's go back and to the duty cycle and change that back to 25. And I'll show you why I want to do that. Because I want to show gating. If I can, I'm back to 25. You can see the plasma ball is quite active. And what's going to happen here? Oh, I got it. It's got to do a little bit better focus. Come on, focus. All right. Okay. It did. It finally focused. And we're back at the original starting point. I want to show you gating and how it is really nice to be able to gate uh, frequencies like Shulman resonance and so forth. And in order to do that, all I really have to do is turn channel 2 on and it's gating right now at the two cycles per second that we had uh, set up in video 1 I'm going to change that to 7.83 and so I'm going to turn focus to the window in channel 2 and hopefully if you watched the video uh, the first video you know what I'm doing when I say I'm changing focus and so forth and I'm going to go down to the duty cycle in channel 2 and I'm going to do that by hitting the amplitude next and am I in there? Yeah. Ah, there we go, I got, I got it on 50% actually I, I didn't mean to say duty cycle, I'm going to go back up the frequency 
And I'm going to go up to Showman's Residence, 7.83. And you can see that light flashing away, a mile a minute. 8. Three. Now, if I change the duty cycle and make it a very small flash, it'll look like, um, right now the duty cycle is at 50. And I'm going to reduce that to 10%. Uh, maybe I want to go the other way. Yeah, there you go. You know, what's happening here is that the camera cannot respond to the flickering of the plasma ball well enough to, so you can see the flickering at 7.83%. Um, um, Believe me, it's flickering very nicely. And I can flicker all the way up to very easily 1,000. And so that's how you control and generate very low frequencies. Um, again, this is about another 11 minute video. I'm going to stop it here uh, because we basically completely demonstrated uh, controlling the spooky, uh, controlling the plasma ball using the spooky manually. All right, I hope this video works. I don't think I'm going to do a retake on this one. Have a very nice day, everybody.